can bring so much joy to the world, where knowledge can be earned from the tip of your fingertips. Ustaka Negri Sarwa aims to provide that necessity to the people of the far and near, with facilities that is equipped with the up-to-date technology. Research and studies would be a breeze. Understanding the needs of the many, where knowledge seeking is crucial for the growth of the mind. We made it our ultimate goal to serve you the best knowledge center available. Outside our walls, we go and reach out to users and potential users in hard to reach areas. We'd go over and beyond by traveling to the suburbs to spread knowledge. To enlighten them through several knowledge activities via Pustaka's knowledge resources in our collection. Our responsibility to share latest technology and information. This way, we can ensure that the passion to seek knowledge never fades. It is our utmost mission to cater for and exceed the expected information needs of our users. For such noble cause, we study the profiles of our varied users to undermine their information requirements, get the needed information resources in whatever available formats, printed, non-print or online and match them with the requirements. We take the extra mass of informing users about our rich information resources and tell them step by step how to identify, select, retrieve and use these resources. We want our users to be literate in information and knowledge. We want them to be our knowledge beneficiaries. As a priority to preserve the knowledge and our heritage collections, we are committed to provide the user with access for those special and unique collections of Sarawa. With the facilities for storage and repositories, we ensure all the collections and public records which are more than 25 years old, and other documents, papers, instruments, statutes and statutory order, regulations or decrees directed by State Secretary to be maintained, preserved and kept in the State Depository on account of their historical value or public importance. We are eager to expand by preserving the collections through legal deposits, donation, bequeath, oral history and also transfer of public records for permanent preservation regardless of its format and media. By creating standard bibliographic records, we will ensure the library resources or materials published in Sarawak can be accessed and will be preserved for future generations. We are going beyond boundaries in order to guide, advise and train all Sarawak government agencies with focus on the implementation of records and archives, management practices and standards thoroughly for Sarawak civil service. Researchers can use our facilities to do research on specific materials whereby assistance is always available. Having been here almost uh, 20 over years as a user of Pustaka, um, it has been a very encouraging experience. Uh, looking at the staff, how they, how they operate this place and and for the past 20 years, this place is still in a very good shape and, and it's even better now. So this is something that is very encouraging for us as users. Uh, I think the best thing is that the library actually somehow in a small way uh, that changed my life. First of all, I think the best is that I don't have to buy so many books. And then you don't have to search so far away, but you already can find it in, in the library. It makes my life easier. You can see maybe you say reader is very confined to this, maybe very introvert, but actually the books make you more extrovert, meaning that you can actually connect with people better. Uh, thank you very much, Pustaka Negri Sarawak.
Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Edison Rickett from Pustaka Negeri Sarawak. It's an honor for me to uh, stand in front of you virtually to deliver a project presentation on Reading Seeds program provide early childhood development and increase reading rate. Reading Seeds launched by Pustaka Negeri Sarawak in 2016 embeds reading habit in early childhood development by fostering family literacy among parents and their children from the womb to three years old. Our dream is to be a reading and knowledgeable society. The Reading Seed program is to empower parents at home to take charge of their little one development at home by providing reading material and developmental awareness. Reading Seed program is an early intervention family literacy program that has been developed by Pustaka Negeri Sarawak. The Reading Seed aims program aims to embed the reading habit in the idea and custom and social behavior creating nation of reading society. Our responsibility is embedding reading habits early in a child growing years. Our journey start from 2003 to 2016. The Sarawak State Library have implemented three phases of family literacy initiative. Phase 1 born to read in 2001 to 2011, phase 2 every child ready to read from 2012 to 2015 and phase 3 uh, reading seat uh, 2016 and phase 4 nationwide reading seats. Pustaka Negeri Sarawak launched the reading seat program in 2016 by handing out reading seat kit to newborn babies at the government hospital and health clinic in Sarawak. Malaysia is still below OECD average in terms of reading culture especially with a quarter of Malaysian are still living in rural area to instill the love of reading during the critical stage of a baby growth to encourage parents to read to their child to create a sustainable community based early literacy program based on preliminary finding It was noted that children involved in the program read earlier than their sibling who had not uh, been read to well in their early stage of infancy. Reading Seed Pack 3.0 is holistic reading uh, package for early childhood literacy. National uh, level reading seed program launched by National Library of Malaysia in 2019 which involves seven state library namely Selangor, Pahang, Penang, Melaka, Pera, Negeri Sembilan, and Terengganu. Parents who have successfully completed all reading seat activity module will receive an e-certificate and reading seat kit can be claimed at Sarawak State Library at all campuses. To make the claim, please bring uh, along an e-certificate and baby health records reading seat ecosystem for state reading uh, Seed program implementation where we collaborate with various agencies and as for the reading seed kits, the kits was developed by a team and combined with early childhood educator, expert, medical doctor, author, publisher, creative professional, illustrator, author and librarian. Further improve the nation reading culture statistics, increase the number of early detection of child development delay, distribution our statewide distribution points via Sarawak State Library uh, in our HQ, Cebu and Miri campuses. 47 public library, 215 village library, 42 digital community center statewide. By the end of 2021, library distributed a total of 11,531 reading seat kits with the reading seat book application registering 3,623 download from February uh, 2020 to February uh, 2021. In addition, from 2020, 2020 to 2021, the, during the COVID pandemic, uh, the library, a total of 5,614 parent guardian completed the Reading Seat module via the Reading Seat's e-learning platform. Reading Seat Super Apps for Parents and Caregivers. In 2019, following the success In Sarawak, the National Library of Malaysia expanded the Reading Seeds program to seven states uh, in Malaysia. A total of seven pregnant mothers have received the Reading Seeds uh, Reading Seed kits, so they can begin to read to their baby while in the womb. Award received. Finalist High Performance Team to Award 2019 Chief Minister Department. Finalist uh, Cabaran Inovasi Inclusive 2019. Impact program berimpact tinggi HIP6. Sarawak Malaysia Family Literacy Program Module Community Strategies for Promoting 
Literacy, IFLA WLIC 2016, Ohio Columbus, USA. First story from Southeast Asia and Malaysia on early childhood development published on the IFLA Library Map of the World. Modul Ibu Bapa sebagai rakan membaca reading seat. Modul Jurulatih sebagai rakan membaca reading seat. Hashtag readings readers together. Reading is a collective responsibility and the key for lifelong learning. And if you can in, instill a love of reading at an early stage, then a commitment to lifelong learning is sure to follow. Reading allowed present book as source of pleasant, valuable and exciting experience. Children who value books are motivated to read on their own and will likely to practice independent reading throughout the rest of their lives. Reading aloud to children is truly single most important activity for building this understanding of skill essential for reading success to your child will carry with them all throughout their life. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, that's the end of my presentation today. Thank you for your attention. Welcome to the Sarawak State Library, one of the most unique libraries in the world that is surrounded by a park. Whether you are in need of learning materials, reference material, conducive learning environment, the free Wi-Fi, a recreational place for you and your family, or if you're a fitness junkie and looking for a place to jog or work out, the Sarawak State Library got that cover for you. Hi, my name is Charlie. Let me introduce you to the Sarawak State Library. Other than the Sarawak State Library in Kuching, we have other branch which includes the Sarawak State Library Miri branch and the State Record Repository. The State Library houses a variety of collections which includes the main collection, the reference, the special collections and electronic collections. The main collections include topics ranging from philosophy, religion, social sciences, languages, pure science, technology, art, literature, and history. We do have non-fictional collections to suit your leisure reading. Did I mention that we have newspapers that we update daily and are available in the newspaper room? No, we have that too. The reference material range from dictionaries, manuals, cane books, encyclopedias, and atlases. The reference material can be identified from the red label at the spine of the book. These materials are only to be used in the library and not to be borrowed. Photostating is allowed. Simply purchase the photocopy card at the circulation counter level 1. The special collection consists of the Malaysiana collections and Sarakiana collections. To complete this, we have the collections suits our junior reader. Now, these collections are available for the younger user at the Children Infotech, which is the ground floor of the library. Aside from that, we have computers available for you at the same floor in the Multimedia Gallery MMG. To use the computer, make sure that you have registered as a member of the library. Then, just fill in the logbook at the registration counter and that is about it. Other than the mentioned material, other material is accessible online. For the convenience of our user, we provide online services as well. I'm talking about the Online Public Access Catalog OPEC. All our collections are registered in the OPEC, whereby it can be accessed anytime, anywhere. With that being said, by simply looking up www.librarynet.com.my, users get to check the availability of the books that they are interested in online. 
OPEC also allowed users to locate the materials that they want by obtaining the call number of the book. Call number can be seen at the spine of the book. In other words, you can browse our OPEC and locate the material that you want and reserve it if the status is checked out at the comfort of your home. How convenient is that? In the case that the book is available in other library, a loaning book is made possible with the interlibrary loan, whereby user could loan books from other library with just a fee of two ringgit. What's more, buck loan is available for institution or agency that have registered with the library. This institution can loan up to 50 to 200 books without fee. Aside that, we have vast online database collection exclusively for our member. Our online databases includes journal, magazine, newspaper, and books. To enjoy the unlimited pass, simply log in using the username and password that you have created during registration. Other than browsing the OPEC for books and accessing the online database, you could also do an online renewal and request for books too. Wi-Fi is available for our user at the library compound. To connect to the Wi-Fi, select LibraryNet from the list of Wi-Fi available and a pop-up will appear asking for the username and password that you have created during registration. Fill that in and you have the access. Now all these are accessible to our member for free. You heard that right, for free. To register, simply provide the librarian at the registration counter on the ground floor with your identification card or passport. The librarian will guide you to fill in a short online form. Activation will be done immediately after you press the submit button. Just remember to approach the librarian for your membership activation. Renewal of membership done yearly. Like the registration, the renewal of membership is also free. Having the habit of misplacing things? Afraid not, we do not provide our user with membership card. However, to access all the services and for future transactions, you will only need to show our librarian your IC. Our membership are open to the public starting from kids age 4. In addition, you have registered and have forgotten your username or password. Approach the friendly librarian and they will surely lend you a hand. Now on to the do's and don'ts in the library. While we are striving to provide you with the best services, please adhere to the followings. No food and flavored drinks allowed in the library. No smoking at the library. Keep your volume to minimum when you are in the library. Remember to leave books that have been taken out from the shelf at the trolley provided or the counter. Do not leave your personal belongings unattended. The library is not a playground, therefore books are not toys. For this and more information on the Sarawak State Library, head to our website www.pustaka-sarawak.com Feel free to give us a call at 082-442-000 or drop us an email to librarian at sarawak.gov.my. Stay tuned for all events or activity hosted by the library or for any updates and announcements, follow us on our social media, Facebook, Instagram, Instagram and Twitter. Twitter. Well, that is all from me. See you at the library. Oh, Wan. Ini macam ada ni, Wan. In an era where knowledge can bring so much joy to the world, where knowledge can be earned from the tip of your fingertips, Ustaka Negri Sarwa aims to provide that necessity to the people of the far and near. With facilities that is equipped with the up-to-date technology, research and studies would be a breeze. Understanding the needs of the many, where knowledge seeking is crucial for the growth of the mind, we made it our ultimate goal to serve you the best knowledge center available.
outside our walls, we go and reach out to users and potential users in hard to reach areas. We'd go over and beyond by traveling to the suburbs to spread knowledge. To enlighten them through several knowledge activities via Pustaka's knowledge resources in our collection. Our responsibility to share latest technology and information. This way, we can ensure that the passion to seek knowledge never fades. It is our utmost mission to cater for and exceed the expected information needs of our users. For such noble cause, we study the profiles of our varied users to undermine their information requirements, get the needed information resources in whatever available formats, printed, non-print or online, and match them with the requirements. We take the extra mass of informing users about our rich information resources and tell them, step by step, how to identify, select, retrieve and use these resources. We want our users to be literate in information and knowledge. We want them to be our knowledge beneficiaries. As a priority to preserve the knowledge and our heritage collections, we are committed to provide the user with access for those special and unique collections of Sarawa. With the facilities for storage and repositories, we ensure all the collections and public records which are more than 25 years old, and other documents, papers, instruments, statutes and statutory order, regulations or decrees directed by State Secretary to be maintained, preserved and kept in the State Depository on account of their historical value or public importance. We are eager to expand by preserving the collections through legal deposits, donation, bequeath, oral history and also transfer of public records for permanent preservation regardless of its format and media. By creating standard bibliographic records, we will ensure the library resources or materials published in Sarawak can be accessed and will be preserved for future generations. We are going beyond boundaries in order to guide, advise and train all Sarawak government agencies with focus on the implementation of records and archives, management practices and standards thoroughly for Sarawak Civil Service. Researchers can use our facilities to do research on specific materials whereby assistance is always available. Having been here almost uh, 20 over years as a user of Pustaka, um, it has been a very encouraging experience. Uh, looking at the staff, how they, how they operate this place and and for the past 20 years, this place is still in a very good shape and, and it's even better now. So this is something that is very encouraging for us as users. Uh, I think the best thing is that uh, the library actually somehow in a small way uh, that changed my life. First of all, I think the best is that I don't have to buy so many books. And then you don't have to search so far away, but you already can find it in, in the library. It makes my life easier. You can see maybe you say reader is very confined to this, maybe very introvert, but actually the books make you more extrovert, meaning that you can actually connect with people better. Uh, thank you very much, Pustaka Negri Sarawak.
Who are watching us live on our Zoom and Facebook, wherever you are, welcome and thank you for tuning in. I assure you that this session will be worth it. So for today, I'm Fikri, your host for webinar session, and with me today as the speaker is Madam Lai Wei, Lai Wai Ching. Hi, Madam. Hi. How are you? Good afternoon, everyone. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> so everyone, allow me to brief today's speaker, Lai Wai Ching. Madam Lai Wai Ching joined KB in July. 2022 as Regional Sales Manager, North and Southeast Asia. She's a results-oriented sales pro professional with over 20 years of experience in the academic publishing industry. She also received an MBA from University Putra Malaysia in 2004 and applies her business knowledge and in-depth sales strategy, strategies to help her clients meet their needs and expectations. So today, our objective is to aid you in developing search strategies that is to locate relevant published studies in order to answer key questions relating to our agriculture's problems. With that, these are the things that you will be getting throughout this one hour session, which is first, understanding KB Compendia, ebooks, and reviews, in hopes that it will add in identification of relevant database. Next, to help you how to access to KB databases remotely from home. With this, you don't have to go to the library and can just access to our KB databases uh, wherever you are, even you are in your home. Next, the objective for today is to help you how to be effectively search strategies with KB's ontology. Next, how to manage your search results. And for your information, KB Digital Library is a non-profit intergovernmental development and information organizations focusing primarily on agricultural and environmental issues in the developing world and the creation, creation and dissemination of scientific knowledge. So before we are going to start, I'm going to show you how to access to our online database. So quickly, I stop my share. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You will take over, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So everyone, can you see my screen? Yes. Okay, first of all, rather I'm going to okay. First, on the Google page, you will have to search for Pustaka English Rawa or Peck. And then after that. As you, can, as you can see on my screen, you click on the OPEC Pustaka Nikishrawa. 
and then you have to log in to our online database as I'm going to show you. Okay, on the right screen, you have to log in by using your straw ID. All right. Everyone clear? Just remember, you have to uh, log in first. Yes, this one. You can click on Pustaka Niki Shrawak, Pustaka Niki Shrawak Miri, or Pustaka Niki Shrawak Sibu. As for, I mean, uh, coaching, I will choose Pustaka Niki Shrawak lah. And then after you sign in for Pustaka Niki Shrawak Online Public Access Catalog, which is OPEC, you click on Online Database here. And then it will appear on the first of our online database. You click on KB. And voila, you can uh, freely search for your uh, academic research or information that you want to find. Okay, that's all for me. Is there any question for our uh, participant? I can see that there, there is no question and I will uh, stop the sharing. Uh. Okay, everyone, that is how you access to our online database, which is a KB. And then everyone, before I hand over to Madam Lai Wai Ching, just a note. If you have any question through the entire session, just post away and we will answer some at the end of our session. Uh, and then don't forget to register your attendance on the link that Pustaka Nikishrawa have uh, post on the Zoom message. So with that, I will hand over the session to Madam Lai Wai Ching. All right. Uh, thank you, Fikri. Hope everyone hear me clear. Yep. Clear, clear. Okay, that's good, that's good. So, uh, before I start, I just want to thank you, Pustaka Negri Sarawak, for arranging this training session. And thanks for everyone who are here to, to join this uh, training. I hope by end of the day, by end of the training session, everyone will achieve the objectives as uh, mentioned by Fikri just now. Okay, so uh, let me, I will stop my video so that everybody can focus on the, on the uh, slides. And also just to make sure that the internet is, is uh, smooth because there are so many participants here. Okay, so, all right, so you can see my full slides, right? Uh, in the presentations mode. Yeah, yes, nice, nice. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, so uh, my name is Wai Ching. So I, I wouldn't repeat what Fikri has already introduced just now. So uh, my email is here, w.lai at kb.org. If you have any questions later, you can email me or you can go to Pustaka Negri Sarawak, uh, seek helps from the librarians. They are very friendly. So yeah, always if you have any questions regarding the resources, uh, you can go directly to them, okay? So this is the agenda of the day. Uh, I will, okay. So I will go through who is Kabi briefly, and then I will go through the Kabi online resources currently subscribed by Pustaka. Then we will jump into the live demo on Kabi digital library. 
Okay. So KB stands for Center for Agriculture and Biosciences International, or CAB International in short, uh, is KB, which has more than a hundred years uh, since established in in the UK, our HQ currently is at Wallingford, UK. So if you want to read more about CABI, that is our homepage, www.cabi.org. And who we are, CABI is an international not-for-profit intergovernmental organization. Our mission is to improve people's lives by providing information and apply the scientific expertise to help solve problems in agriculture and the environment. And what we do, we help farmers to grow more, lose less, and to fight against the threats such as pests and diseases, uh, to improve access to scientific knowledge. So how we work, our, we, our 45 member countries actually guide and influence our core focus of our work. So we work closely with our donors, partners, individuals, organizations, countries, government, uh, department, corporates, investors, and, and et cetera, to help to solve problems and build a sustainable livelihood. So as you can see, these are our member countries and Malaysia is actually one of the member countries. In short, member countries are actually our bosses. You know, every three years they come to, uh, they will go to UK, our HQ, to sit down and discuss and come up with the strategies, the medium term strategies for the next three years. For example, end of last year, they actually went to UK to discuss for the strategies for 2023 to 2025. So based on the strategies, we, I mean, CABI, the organization, we will come up with the action plans, how to achieve or how to work towards the, the strategies. So uh, we have offices across 26 locations worldwide. So you can see in Malaysia, we have our regional office in, our office is actually located within Mahdi, Sedan. So in one of the, you know, the greenhouse. And we have uh, more than 450 staff across the locations. Yep, the split against uh, male and female is not yet 50-50, but we are moving towards that direction. So our areas of focus, uh, we focus on the food and nutrition security, climate change and diversity, gender and youth economic development. So for food and security, we hope to help people to get access to safe and nutritious food. Climate change, uh, we hope to produce resilient food and nutrition production, utilizing and conserving a healthy landscape and properly functioning ecosystems. For gender and youth, we want to create a world in which women, youth and marginalized communities are included and treated equally in agricultural productions. And hopefully with that, it will reduce the unemployment and poverty. In terms of the economic development, we hope to have to create a sustainable through agriculture, a sustainable economic development through agriculture by improving smallholder farmers' access to the markets, help them to compete and to find a, an inroad to the in, to the market. So uh, in terms of expertise, we have expertise in the crop health, uh, invasive species, knowledge management, 
value chains and trades. So these are our key expertise uh, of area. So these are uh, Cabbage Works in Malaysia. We actually work closely with uh, Malaysia government, the relevant department or ministry on uh, different projects. Right. For example, uh, for example, the Madi and Cabby Joint Lab. This is the first project being implemented by uh, this is the first project being implemented. So to establish a biological control agent mass production facility to carry out the R and D, to carry out the R and D of uh, trigogramma as a biological control agent for rice pest control in Malaysia. So this is ongoing project currently in our office in in uh, Kabi, Malaysia. We have. Uh, Labs and uh, lab assistant actually working on this R and D research. And another project, just a quick example, is the cocoa safe. As we know, cocoa is an important source of income across Southeast Asia. So to maintain the access to the markets and to sustain uh, farmers' livelihood. All food safety and international sanitary and phytosanitary standards must be met. So this project, this Cocosia project, is between uh, Malaysia, Indonesia, Papua New Guinea, it's actually building SPS capacity in the region to ensure production and trade meets legislation on pesticide residues and other harmful substances. So this is another example that another project on the ground that uh, Kabi is working with the Malaysia government. Okay. So overall, Kabi, you can see the ecosystem of Kabi. We create, we curate, curate, and we transform all the research findings so that it can generate. Uh, knowledge that can be used by different group of people, for example, scientists, researchers, investors, policy makers, uh, students even, or farmers even, that is the most important. Right. So um, publishing is one of the, uh, belongs to one of the ecosystems. We help share knowledge and information with the people who need it. Our, our publications, as just now uh, Fikri mentioned, focusing in agriculture and applied life sciences. So we have database, we have books, ebooks, compendium, internet resources that help students, researchers, scientists to actually discover more uh, authoritative information from around the world. Okay, that is a brief about Kabi. Any questions before I move on? Okay, I assume all good. <laughs> so next, I will move into the Kabi online resources, which are currently subscribed by Bustaka Negeri Sarawak. Okay, so Kabi eBooks. Uh, Pustaka subscribed to Kabi ebooks that published back to year 2000 copyright. Uh, you can access books from year 2000 to current. So it, it's, uh, it's very up to date. Uh, all the collections in all the subject areas. So our books are the key resources for study, practice, professional development. So anyone can use it. I mean, as long as you find that it's useful in whatever you are, the research or study. So the content is high quality because it's written by the experts in the area 
and every chapter is indexed so that it's searchable either by chapter or the whole books. And there is no DRM, meaning no digital rights management. It's free to download. You can print it. You can uh, store it. It will not go away. It will not disappear. So anytime, anywhere, uh, using your laptop or any devices. So this is ebooks. Then PNS also subscribe to Cabbie Compendium is a leading encyclopedic scientific knowledge resource for environmental and agricultural production, health and biosecurity. It includes images, data sheets, maps, and also uh, some supporting tools, which I will show you later. Then the other one is the Kevin which is an international review journal that focuses on uh, agriculture, animal science, veterinary medicine, applied plant sciences, food, global health, climate, and environmental sciences. So as you can see here, uh, this is actually the article, one of the latest article published in January this year on the heat and drought that actually have an impact on the production of crops. So this article actually was featured and mentioned in the National Geographic in Spain. You can see here, that is a link if you are interested to find out more. So you can see the quality of the, our publication is actually very high. Next is the descriptions of fungi and bacterial. These are produced by Kevi Microbiome Services, which is one of the preeminent or one of the very uh, famous global taxonomy or provider on fungi. So every sheet is written by authority. That's why it's uh, regarded as the official definitions of species concerned. And also, many of the pictures and drawings are unique. You can't find any else, anywhere else. And there currently, there are about, I think, 2,000 species of fungi and bacteria, more than 2,000 actually available, and back to 1964. Next is the distribution maps of plant diseases. These are also another authoritative source for accurate data on the distribution of plant diseases worldwide. So each map is compiled from a large variety of scientific sources and validated twice by our species specialist at CABI. And we work together with the European and Mediterranean Plant Protection Organization and independent consultants. So this map covers a fung fungal, bacterial, viral, nematode diseases affecting agriculture, horticulture, and forestry. The last one is the distribution max of plant pests. So just now it's the disease. This one is on the pests. So again, it's the authoritative resource for distribution of plant pests worldwide. And uh, these maps are compiled from a large variety of scientific resources. Again, also validated by Kevin specialist and also working together with Natural History Museum London, EPPO and independent consultants. So cover important attribute pests affecting agriculture, horticulture and forestry. So basically those are the online resources currently subscribed by Pustaka Nagari Sarawak. Okay. Um, any questions before we jump into the live demo? 
Uh, excuse, madam. Yeah. Uh, I have inquiry. So, as you shown just now, it's all in English, right? So, is there any uh, uh reference or books or any materials that were in uh Bahasa? Uh, there is a small percentage of the resources are available in different languages. Mm hmm. So Bahasa, uh, we will check later to see. <laughs> I'm not too sure because yeah, yeah. most of the actually most of the uh foreign languages are being translated into English. Mm, because yeah. it's international, right? Mm. Uh, yes. So, uh, one more questions. So from mm -hmm. Hazima Riboy. Yes. So no DRM means every material on KB can be downloaded and shared on any digital repository? Uh, no DRM meaning? Uh, every material on KB can be downloaded and share on any digital oh. repository. Digital repository. Yeah. Actually, it can be downloaded and for your personal use, uh, not for um, commercial use. Not yes. for organizational yes. Lisa. Yes. Yeah. yeah for personal. On, yes. Uh, our own personal question, so it can be downloaded. Yes. So okay. Yes, that's right. Okay. Right? For uh the next question, uh, is there uh -huh. any work done on fisheries and aquaculture since they are under agriculture as well? Yes. Yes. It covers aquaculture as well. Uh, so after this, can you maybe can uh, you can share yeah. how to search on the uh, yeah. information on our uh, aquaculture? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Okay. okay, so we will move on to the uh, KB Digital Library platform. So as Frigui demo, uh, Demo just now, you have to actually log in to Pusaka State Library to access the KB Digital Library. So he has already showed the steps how to go through the State Library and access to the KB Digital Library. So now I will go straight to KB Digital Library. In short, I call it a CDL, yeah? Let me share my... Okay. So, you can see my screen on the CDL, right? Can be digital library. I just make sure. Can you, uh, Fikri, can you see my screen? Yeah, it's clear. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay, that's good, that's good. I just want to make sure before I proceed, right. So um, this is our new platform launched in July last year. So on the day I joined Cabby, the new platform actually launched. <laughs> so it's easy to remember, 25th of July, 2022. <laughs> okay, anyway, um, before Cabby Digital Library, before CDL, all Cabby online resources are were available in the different platforms. So it's a bit hassle for people to go from one platform to another platform. So based on the feedback, then Kebby decided to actually come up with a new, new platform which hosts all our online products. So now, as you can see here, when I click Browse Products, you can see all the products uh, published by Cabby available on this platform. Okay, so we will go into the products subscribed by Pustaka after this. Let me just quickly show you the URL, uh, I mean the homepage. Of what are the things available on the homepage? Okay, so um, you can create your own account on CDL because it is very useful when you want to save your search or when you want to save your project. 
Okay, so I will encourage everybody who wants to make use of this platform, please create your own account. It's very easy. You just need to follow the steps, you know, uh, register, and then you will be able to have your own account. So now I have already logged in using my own uh, personal, not personal, I mean the company Cabby's account. So you can see here is authenticated via Cabby Malaysia. So just now when Fikri showed his uh, locking by Pustaka, I can also see that it was actually uh, showed here authenticated by Pustaka Negeri Sarawak. So you want to make sure you are actually locking correctly. That is how you actually uh, see the authentication. Okay. So then uh, this is very prominent. The search, bar, the search bar here, one keyword search, you search across all the products available on Kevi Digital Library. You will do the search after this. So let me quickly just uh, scroll down. So you scroll down, you can see what are the current key products available. Uh, I mean, featured on this portion of the page. So it has compendium, journals, cases, and books. Okay, and if you scroll further down, that is the latest content published by Kevi and posted on this website, uploaded on this website. And there is also announcement resources. <clears throat> there are resources for librarians. So if you are librarians, you can come to this uh, resource page. There are a lot of Really, I mean, there are a lot of, uh, you know, materials for you to promote the resources. So please feel free to come here. And open access services, whoever want to, interested to have, to publish in open access uh, publications, or you have any question about open access, you can feel free to come here. Then this is the latest blog and latest news happening in uh, Kevi. Then you scroll further down. This is the Kevi project. So this is actually showing you that, you know, Kevi is just not a publisher, but we also, it's, it's beyond publishing. We work with uh, local authorities, uh, local farmers, you know, to, to improve their life. These are all the projects that are available. So feel free to, to find out more about, about it. And on your left hand side on the menu, it's actually quite similar. It's a mirror image to what I have shown you just now. So if you don't want to scroll down, you just you can just come straight here. So these are search and discover. These are all the products collections, journals, books, and learning. These are all the products. And you can explore books by topics. Go straight to, for example, you want agriculture and international development. Just click on this. They will bring you to the collections. Then you have librarian resources, published with Kebi. If you are interested to publish with Kebi, please come here. There are a lot of information on how to do it. And also about that is this FAQ, which I think uh, will be useful for people like if you are the librarians or if you are the users, you have questions, uh, you can come to FAQ. Yeah, these are the, for example, general questions. How to do a booting search, how to save your searches. Uh, these are for librarians. So if you want to purchase the book for your own study, you can do that. If you want to publish with Kebi or other technical support. So it's all here. Feel free to come here if you have any questions. Okay. So now let's go back to the homepage. Right. So there are actually two ways two main ways to search through the Kebi Digital Library. One is you search through this homepage. 
meaning you search across all the products, all the products here, okay? So the products, um, all the products uh, have already been migrated to Kaby Digital Library from the old platform, except, except our cap extracts and global health, except our uh, A&I or bibliographic uh, databases, which will be migrated in end of March. Okay, so once these uh, A&I databases are available on this platform, the search results will be much more. All right, so uh, let me, as I mentioned just now, you can search through this homepage, you search across all the products, including our open access product, for example, bioprotection portal, for example, One Health Knowledge Bank, PlantWise Knowledge Bank, uh, open access journal, for example, Cabi Agriculture and Bioscience, Cabi One Health, Human Animal Interactions, these are our open access journals. Everybody can access, it's free. Also, we have the Agri Archive service. This is the preprint services. It's also open access. And we also have Search Archive, which is another services uh, related to how you do the search. This is also open access, okay? So uh, the good point about searching through this homepage is you search across all the resources, including open access resources. Another method you can search is you go to the specific product, for example, books. You click on books and you search within heavy books. So this, would limit your search within just books, okay? So there are two ways for you to search. So it depends on your preference. If you already know you want to search only within books, then you can just come straight. Because the search, you will, you will have the different search results. Okay, so uh, let me just search. Let me just do the search through the homepage. All right. For example, um, now I think last week, your Deputy Minister of Food and Industry, Dr. Rus Bandi, yeah, he asked the 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 do the pineapple. Sarawak, I think is the own variety of the pineapple. So it's called the uh, Sarawak Goes Want. Yeah, it was launched last week. Last week, yeah, a week ago. So I'm just thinking I, I probably say if, you know, to, to, to make sure that the food, the fruit pineapple is actually free from diseases and, and pests so that it will not affect the production. And you are tasked, for example, uh, you are tasked with the project, you know, to, to search the diseases and pests and how to prevent it. And you come to Kevi Digital Library, how you do the search. Yeah. So now I will be doing the search on the pineapple and test. I use the Boolean uh, operator, yeah? I think my network is a bit slow here, so it takes a while. Yep, 
Yeah. So these are the search results. 847 results for the keywords that I key in. Okay. As you can see here, there are articles and chapters. There are also publications. Publications actually refer to books. So there are two books related to pineapple production. Uh, if you are interested in the book, for example, you view the description and you think, oh, I want to read this book, just click on the title. Then it will bring you to the book page. So you can see the information, the metadata about the book. You can purchase it online if you want a hard copy. This is for personal purchase. And yeah, these are, there are description about the book, readership, reviews, autobiography. So if you scroll down, there are chapters, individual chapters. Also, you can preview the abstract. So you can download specific chapter or you can download the whole book here. Now I click on read the book. It brings me to the PDF or EPUB of the book. So this is for me to download the whole book and read it offline. It's downloading. Sorry, it takes a while. My network is a bit slow. I'm working from home today. <laughs> it's okay, madam. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I think this is a big book. Yeah? Large documents. Uh, by the way, madam, while we're waiting for the books uh, to be downloaded, so uh, there's a two yeah. uh, question here. So the mm -hmm. first one um, from Nora Sikin. Uh, Madam, yeah. can we get the citation on the ebook that we download? So that is the first question. Lah. Can you answer yeah. for the question? Citation. I mean, mm -hmm. you want to. That is actually. Uh... I think this book don't have, yes, there are, there are uh, metrics on the citations of the book. Some, some titles, there are citations, metrics under, I think, uh, yeah, above the purchase, there are some citations, uh, metrics available, which you can, you can view and you can also cite. You can also do citation. Okay, thank you. And then for the next question, from Muhammad Nur Amzul. So hmm. the question uh, are the are the scientific papers from CDL free to be cited in our own papers? Yes, you can cite, you can cite. Yes. Okay, thank you. Yeah, all, all, all the content, yes. So for example, uh there are certain way of citing which uh it's, it's actually available online. For example, you want to cite heavy compendium materials, how you cite it is actually available, the, the, the way of citing. Okay. So back to this book, uh, yeah, I have downloaded the book. So, I mean, I go to the book page and when I click download here on the right hand button, right top button here is actually whole book download. All right. So I can print on, I can save, I can view offline documents. I can also share the access with, for example, you have your colleagues from uh, DOA, same department, doing on the same project. You want to recommend this to, to your colleague? Yeah, you can share the link. Also, you can zoom in or zoom out. Uh, yeah, so these are very interactive. 
uh, the reading flow. Mm, sorry, Madam. Or if you want to go to the other page, yeah. Uh, so it's appeared that on the left side, there is uh -huh. a citation. So can we just copy and paste to our uh, citation? Yeah, you can, yes. Or just click on this. Yeah, uh, there is a format here. Yeah. And then yeah. we can download the article citation. All right. Uh, yeah, that's right. All right. By the way, madam, there's okay. uh, one mm -hmm. question from Nora Skin. Yep. So uh -huh. uh, for the account registration, is it free yeah. or do you yes, have... Yes, it's free. Right? It's free. It's free. Anybody can, can create an account. So there's no any... Uh, no, fee? no free, no... Yeah, you don't have to pay anything, it's free. Uh, yep. Okay. Okay, madam, thank you. All right. So on the... Back to this book page, uh, on the left button, so there is this uh, outline. There is materials, if there is any available here. And also there is a link where you can share. Okay. Let's just close this. All right. So this is about the book. And let me go back to the search results just now. So I show you how to assess the book. And then these are articles or chapters. Now there are 847 results. So if you want to narrow down your results, there are two ways to do it. The first way is go to your left-hand panel. Now you can see the first one on top is on the publication date. For example, you want the latest, last 10 years publications. Just move your cursor to 2013, then they will narrow your search to the publications from 2013 to current. So from just now 800 plus, now it goes down to 663 results, right? And then the content type, you can select what type of content you want to view, for example, data sheet. Data sheet are mostly available in the Kevin Compendium or chapter, which are book chapter, basically. Or if you move down publication title, these are more on the product types. Can be compendium, can be books. Uh, distribution maps of plant diseases. So these are more on the product type. Or if you have already know which author you want to look for, just click on the author or some keywords, topics, uh, geographic location, data sheet type. So yeah, these are all the uh, different filtering functions for you to, to filter down, okay? So now for example, I want to look at data sheets. So I just click on data sheet. Now my results has further shrinking to 279, okay? And if you look at the first one, every title you can see, there is a lock here. So this gives you the indication that, you know, the green color lock, meaning you have access, the library has subscribed to this content. So you can actually assess the full content of the this title. Or if you look at that, is this uh, orange color lock? It means these are the open access content. So anybody can access the content. And there is another type, uh, which are red color. If you look at the lock, it's red color. That means you cannot access because the, the library hasn't subscribed to that content. But uh, you won't see red in my <laughs> in my platform because I'm 
I can access everything, <laughs> my password. So I'm sorry I can't show you the red color lock. Anyway, um, let me just uh, show you this title. Okay, apart from the look, you can see there's this Cathy Compendium. So these are the product that subscribed by Pustaka Negeri Sarawak. So definitely you can access. Okay, these are the product. And then the data sheet. So this type of product is belong to data sheet and of course the publication year. Okay. And that is the preview about this data sheet. So now I look at it and I think, oh, okay, I want to further spend some time to check out the data sheet. I click on it and it brings me to the data sheet page. So here we go. On top is the title and the metadata, the author, the DOI, uh, data sheet type is uh, on past. And this has been, these are the metrics. It has been downloaded 22 times so far. And then there is the abstract, identity, pictures, symptoms on pineapple, okay. Taxonomic tree, description about this distribution table. So you can see Malaysia currently is present. information about the, the pest. All right, all the information is, uh, yeah, there's a distribution map here. As you can see Malaysia is affected. And also reference. Reference are quite important for people who actually do a lot of uh, study especially literature, and also related articles. Okay, so this is basically on the cabbie compendium. And also here, you can actually add this to your project. As I mentioned, you need to create your own account to add the project. For example, here I have three projects already. Yeah, I can just add it or I can create a new project. And I can view the citation. And of course, I can track also citations here. On the this left hand bar, this is the information, a quick access to the information about the authors and the compendium, the metrics, uh, references, the figures, picture distribution table and also share the link. So it's a uh, immediate access to all the features. Okay, so this is Cabbie Compendium. Of pineapple and pest. Uh, any questions so far? And the search is basically through Cabby Digital Library, the homepage. Yeah. Um, so you search across everything. Yeah. Okay, uh, just now you are showing the uh the result for your search, right? So uh, huh. I noticed that there's a particular button for my project. So what yeah. is that uh button for? Oh, my, my project is for your personal use. As I mentioned, mm -hmm. you need to create your own account. Then if you have any projects okay. that currently you are doing, for example, uh, you are working on pineapple research mm -hmm. and you search through Cabbie Digital Library and you find certain materials that are useful for the pineapple project, so you can create that project, the, the project name, and save all your search into that folder. 
Oh, that's a great. Ah, uh, yeah. Though. So when you come back, yeah. So when you come back, you can just go straight to whatever you have searched. Oh. No, regarding the pineapple project, yeah. Really so you don't have to research again. Yeah. Mm. Wow. Very nice. Product. Very nice product. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, just ah, another thing I want to highlight. So let's. Yeah, this one right. Just now you mentioned the project. Yeah. So you just add your project. You create a new project, the name, my app, I N D A P H I I F O Sarawa. So I just create. And I add, I add to the project. So the information is already there. Okay. So another things that I want to share is the Thesaurus. So you can you see here there's this thesaurus. So this thesaurus is very useful for you um, because it's free <laughs> and it's uh, it has okay, what is the scientific name for my apple? Let's see. Sure. So it gives you all the related terms in terms of pineapple. For example, I search pineapple, right? And yeah, so for example, I only want to look at pineapples. What are the more information? about this, I click on the pineapples, then I can see that, you know, the what is the technical category about this subject category, the broader term is called tropical small fruits. Ah, the crop plants, uh, yeah, how to pronounce it, ananas homosus. And then what are the related terms? So this might be useful for those who do research, yeah, especially if you have those uh, scientific terms, you want to find the related terms or the general terms that is used for that specific scientific term. Okay, so it's available here at the top. It's always. Um, all right, so that is to search through Heavy Digital Library homepage. Now, if we go to the specific product, for example, can be compendium. So this is where you search can be compendium. And uh, let me just quickly do a search. Say I want to find midi bar. Okay, this is taking a while. Sorry about that. So while it goes to that search results, let us just uh, scroll down to that heavy compendium on page. You will see there are six different subject collections. Uh, so, sorry, we we'll go back to that later, yeah? Uh, yeah, this is the, just now I searched midi bug. These are the results, 255. Search through Capi Compendium only, okay? So since Capi Compendium has been subscribed by Pustaka, you should be able to access all the content. So all the logs should be green, yeah? 
Okay, now you can see here KB compendium, and this is the data sheet. Um, now you want the topic, for example, only related to horticulture, because pineapple is horticulture. Okay, so yeah, these are your results. Further narrow down to 81 results. Let's click on it. Then you will go to the data sheet page. So like what I, yeah, this is what you see, the pictures. Taxonomy tree. So basically uh, the arrangement by sequence is, is quite standard for most of the data sheet, as you can see here. You will see the distribution map here. It takes a while to load. Uh, you can open in viewer, have a bigger look at the mini bus. <clears throat> okay, back to article. This is the adults, but uh, sorry, the map is still loading, I think. Anyway. Um, okay, back to the search result. And I want to show you the home page just now. Yeah, so this is the Caviar Compendium product page. If you scroll down, these are the latest data sheets. Yeah? And if you scroll down, there are six different uh, categories of the compendium. So if you come here and you want to further narrow your search to only aquaculture, for example, there was a question on the aquaculture just now, right? So you can come here. Yeah. So this is search within Kevin compendium aquaculture. Uh, discover the species live feed culture in marine, brackish, and freshwater environments. So yes, there are information, uh, resources on the aquaculture available on Kevin Digital Library. Yeah, this is uh, on the channel Catfish. So you can see, uh, same sequence, it has extract, identity, you have the pictures, uh, taxonomy tree, description, diseases, so all the information about that. Catfish. Okay, so that is to search within uh, every compendium. Um, okay, let me go to other products. Oh, sorry, what happened to my network is a bit slow. Uh. Uh, meanwhile, any questions from the floor? So far, there is no question, but uh, the uh, briefing is very nice. Thank you. Oh. 
Wow. Not sure. Let me just uh, I use another. Okay, I changed to Google Chrome. <laughs> so I can. Oh, it's not helping. I wanted to share other products as well as our open access products, which I think will be very useful to most of you. Uh, maybe you want me to share my screen and then you can teach me how to uh, do the, what we call that? We search together for uh, the KB digital library. Oh, you want to try that? Yeah, maybe. Okay, can okay, let, let me, me just, let me share my screen. Eh? Okay, stop share. So for those of you, if you have any questions, we still have time for you to ask. So you can write down your question on our chat box okay so freaky go to the home page of the cabby digital library wait a moment yeah I'm looking for my share screen <laughs> and then Sorry, guys, <laughs> that, that is a problem with uh, when you are doing these technical issues. Uh. Uh, can you see my screen, Mira? Yep. Yeah, but then... So for everyone, if you want to access to our uh, KB, you can uh, firstly log in to our Pustaka Digital OPEC by logging your Sarawak ID. Okay, and then you can click on our online database and then just click on KB on the first keyword of online database. Okay, madam, can you show me how to? Yeah. You click on browse products. Okay. And then and you go to description. On your left, you go to the description of fungi and bacteria. On the left, i sorry, this description of, of, yeah, knowledge and data, correct. Description of fungi and bacteria. So currently we have uh, more than 2,000 type of uh, fungi and bacteria available on this on this database. So you can actually do a search here. Uh, yeah, okay. You can do a search or if you want to just do a quick look at the, okay, what do you want to search? <laughs> Big read. Any, any keyword on? In my COVID-19? No. Bacteria. Any bacteria that I know? Oh, yeah. bacteria. Yeah, uh, for that, that so you can you suggest me uh, any bacteria that you want to search? Okay, there's <laughs> uh, 
，我睇神啦。Again, you just just you just click click, just click one of them. Just click one of them. Okay. Yeah, I think this is uh just to have a look at what is in the content. So this info is a bit old. I think there is no update. So you can just click. Yeah, if you scroll down, you will see the abstract. And you will see there are indexing terms, organism descriptors, identifiers. This would be useful for you. You can click and get more information, or quickly you just uh go up and download the PDF. Okay. I view the PDF. Mm hmm. Oh, this one is from 1970s. Correct. Yes, yes. So that means this bacteria is quite old and there is uh, currently no new update <laughs> on this bacteria. So, yeah. So this is the information where you can download to read offline, like ebook. You can download and read all offline, can print it out, can share it, save it in your uh, project folder. Okay. Okay. This uh, yes. this one you can move and to the end and it's quite uh, uh useful for those who's having difficulty to to move their reading right. Uh, yeah, you can just go to this page. For example, just now when I downloaded the book, it's more than 300 pages. I want to go to specific page. I can just yeah. type on the page number and go to that. So it's very, very handy. Yes. Okay. So is there any more things that you want to share with them? Uh, no, I think this is quite similar to the book function. So you go back to the page, the Happy Digital Library homepage. We go to another product. Browse product. I go to the top, top bar, browse product. Yeah, uh, go to the description maps of plant diseases. Plants disease. Yes. So plant disease and plant pests is also subscribed by the Pustaka. Okay. Mm. Uh, you can search what are the disease. Okay. Go back to just now when I use the mealy bug, M E A L Y B U G, search mealy bug. M E M E A M E A M E E A L Y B U G L Y, yeah, but search. Well, then my line is a bit slow. Yeah. So basically, this distribution maps for pests and diseases, these two products are vital tools, are important tools for those especially involved in the vital sanitary decisions. Yeah. Because they want to know like uh, the distribution of the diseases where. So they can just key in uh, the specific diseases and look at the distribution. So here, for example, you click on the little cherry virus. Yeah, just click on it. Okay. So there is the info. The terms, yeah. 
And if you view the PDF, So this this is uh, this give you a it's immediate yeah because I think the latest publications like uh probably twenty twenty to now that are the color lah because this is a bit twenty seventeen so the map is still black and white I think they scan yeah. so but the latest come with color <laughs> so yeah this one you can actually have a immediate look at where are the distribution yeah if you scroll down you can see for example in Asia um where this has actually affected, which area has been affected by this pest. Yeah, you can scroll down, scroll down. Yeah, these are the, they listed down the area and also some references for you to, to check. Hey. Okay. So basically, these are the, you go back to the page, the front page, Academic Digital homepage, yeah. Okay. So basically, distribution maps, yeah, click on the browse products. And then, so there's a question here, madam. Uh, Oh, okay. The question is for me, actually. <laughs> okay, the question is, uh, what is the difference between entering KB through the Pustaka platform and registering directly to KB? Is there any difference? So for Pustaka and Kishrawa platform, Besides uh, uh, this KB digital library, uh, first of all, the first step is you have to sign up as a member. So after that, uh, use by you uh, sign up for member by using your Shrawa ID account. So if you have no not yet create your own uh, Shrawa ID, you can create by uh, go to Shrawa ID website and then just uh, register for Shrawa ID lah. and then after that go to our Pustaka Nidhi Shrawa you can access uh, all the online uh, public catalog access such as KB uh, and then we have uh, all uh, online public access uh, for free lah. You, you don't have to subscribe for any of those uh, online public catalog access. So maybe uh, other than that, uh, I just want to promote. Uh, besides uh, online database, we also uh, inside our online database, uh, we have everything such as uh, ebooks, uh, e news. Maybe you uh you don't want to buy a newspaper and you don't have time to, uh, to buy a newspaper you can uh just log into our Pustaka Nikishawa website uh for on, uh online database and then you can go to press reader to read all our e news such as uh my star Brita Harian for free even though the mm -hmm the website shown that you have to sign in you if you sign uh go through our pustaka nikshawa and then just click on the website uh you don't need to sign in lah so bagi sesiapa yang uh saya, te uh, saya tengok tadi ada yang tak faham sangat english so i will explain it in the end lah so bagi mereka yang masih belum daftar sebagai ahli pustaka di Sarawak ianya ada, adalah percuma as long as kamu ada Sarawak ID uh, if you tak tahu apa Sarawak ID 
kalau kamu dah ada Sarawak Pay, semestinya kamu dah ada uh, Sarawak ID lah. So, dengan Sarawak ID tersebut, kamu boleh uh, menggunakan uh, Pustaka Negeri Sarawak Online Database secara percuma dan tiada bayaran dikenakan. Selain daripada online database, kita ada juga uh, eh, selain, selain daripada KB ni, kita juga ada um, press reader di mana kamu boleh menggunakan press reader tersebut untuk melang, uh, membaca mana-mana majalah hiburan ataupun uh, newspaper yang kamu sukalah without bayaran di dikenakan. Okey, okay, baiklah. Ya, sebentar. Saya um. nak tambah sedikit. Okey, kepada oh. sesiapa yang uh, ada masalah untuk mendaftarkan mereka punya Sarawak ID, tuan-tuan uh, dan puan-puan boleh hubungi Pustaka Negeri Sarawak dan bercakap dengan staff di bahagian uh, unit literasi ataupun counter staff. Mereka akan boleh bantu tuan-tuan dan puan-puan untuk linkkan uh, username pustaka tuan-tuan dan puan-puan ke Sarawak ID tuan-tuan. Okey, uh, sekiranya tuan-tuan dan puan-puan mengalami masalah sekiranya semasa sign up tu untuk link account um, bila tuan-tuan dan puan-puan dah create Sarawak ID dan ada masalah untuk dia cakap dia pop up dia cakap uh, yang tuan-tuan dan puan-puan memerlukan authorize untuk link. So tuan-tuan dan puan-puan boleh hubungi Pustaka Negeri Sarawak untuk link account. Yang itu saja yang saya Terima kasih. Okay. Uh, Fikri, I think there are some <laughs> hands raised here. Questions from Bu Ali. Wait, Madam, I scroll for the question first. Okay. For yeah, a question from Noralia. If we have download the document, either book or else, can the document be accessed online and printed? Yes, yes, can. Uh, that all? Okay, for another questions. For the one Suarah Miri, uh, yes, you can contact Nur Fatini Apandi, our librarian, through 0 at 2, 4, 4, 2, I ulang sekali lagi. You can contact Tini Apandi, our librarian, uh, you can call 0 at 2 4 4 okay, Madam, maybe you can continue yeah. continue to our, uh, your session. Is there anything okay. you want to share? Yes, yes, yes. I think let me quickly just share. Okay. So you can see, you can see my, <laughs> my screen again, right? Kebi Digital Library. Then right, Fikri, just to confirm. You can see my okay, page. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. So, so just now we go through Kebi Compendium. We go through description of fungi and bacterial, the distribution maps, of plant diseases and plant pests, and also books, right? So a quick one on books, uh, you can search, you can browse all the titles here. We also have textbooks. Yeah, all the titles we are currently, we have more than 1,500 books. Then you can search, uh, these are the recently published books. We also have textbooks. 
which if you are a lecturer, you want to adopt textbook, that can also be, you can also refer to here. And also, if you want to browse, if you want to assess books by certain collections, for example, you want only the, uh, say, plant sciences. So you can click plant sciences, so it will come up with all the related books on plant science. Okay. So this is just to help you to search quickly. And also there are blogs and events here. Um, okay, so we cover all the resources subscribed by Pustaka, Uni, uh, Pustaka Negeri Sarawak. Now a quick one to share with you on the open access content, which I think will be useful. One of it is every archive. So every archive, I think would be useful for you because this is actually our preprint services. Preprints are those uh, journal articles that have been written but not yet reviewed. So you have article, it has not been reviewed, it has not been accepted by any journal, but you want to publish it, you want to make it publicly available. So this is where we provide the services, okay? Um, of course, you have to be responsible for the content, you know, for the content that you, you come up with. Anything is your responsibility. The copyrights belongs to you, not publisher, not, not KB. We just provide you a platform to actually upload your, your, your article so that it can be shared. And every article will have a DOI. So this is where you submit a preprint. Um, yeah, there are certain requirements which you need to follow. Usually it will take uh, two days to five days for your article to be uploaded and appear on, on the platform. So good things about this is, you know, uh, when you search across Kaby Digital Library, good things about preprint is uh, you get the access to the publications that has not been published yet, but you know, for example, you are doing your research on certain area or you are doing your re literature research in pineapple, again, the, this example, pineapple pest. So you come and search, you search across all the preprints, meaning those works that have been done by other people from around the world, but not yet published because to get your article published by a publisher or journal, usually it takes some time, three, six months to get published. But this is the uh, before review, before publications. So all the works are actually uploaded here. Then you can already know uh, immediately uh, what kind of what kind of research area or topic has been already done by people around the world or you have done it, you want to claim that you are the first doing the research, you know. So you want it to go public, come here, submit your preprint, and make it online, claim the DOI. Uh, All right? Sorry, madam. Mm. Uh, is there any criteria for you to upload your uh, research in this KB Digital Library? Um... I don't everyone think can just so. upload it. Yes, they anybody can download uh, can upload it. You can submit, you can submit, and there will be people we can be there will be people actually go through it. Mm -hmm. And if there is any questions, they will contact you. Uh, so okay. this is the page, you know, submit a preprint. Okay, thank you very much. So that. just keep yeah. So mm -hmm. this is one of the free access. Uh, preprint 
services that we provide. Another one is the search archive, which is, I think, would be also useful when you do your search because uh, this is for people to actually to share their search link, their search result, you know. So you are, for example, you are doing a search on just now the COVID-19, right? So your search, you can actually share it with people here. Your search uh, stays here, the search strategy. So that, you know, if, for example, me, I'm also interested in doing COVID-19 research. How do I, what kind of uh, search strategy should I adopt? I can come here and, you know, learn from other people how they do it. I can learn from people from this platform. Also, I can share my search string with other people. For example, I think my search string is will be useful to other people in certain area. I can I can actually share it here. Okay. So these are the two free access or open access content. And another one is the One Health Knowledge Bank and also Plan Wise Plus Knowledge Bank, which are also very useful. One Health uh, it's information with regards to human, animal, environment, uh, because these three are interrelated. So this is on the One Health topic. If you are interested, Okay. In One Health, you can come here and search for results. Okay, sorry. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. Corruption. Yeah, I think we are. <laughs> yeah, I think it's already yeah. four o'clock. Yes, yes, yeah, I think I covered most of it. Okay, thank you, madam, for sharing this valuable <laughs> information. I'm sure that you have, uh, you have helped our online audience today. Uh, and then uh, thank you again for the insightful sharing session uh, it's a pleasant pleasure to have you on our webinar sessions so to those of you who are tuning in with us today thank you your support towards today's session has made it a great session uh, so I have a little bit of promotion today uh, let's begin bahasa uh, untuk makluman sekiranya tuan-tuan uh, akses melalui OPEC Pustaka Negeri Sarawak semua COPEC seperti e-book, journal, newspaper boleh diakses secara per percuma sahaja kerana pustaka telah melanggan database tersebut untuk pengguna Pustaka Negeri Sarawak so uh, Maksudnya anda boleh melanggani, uh, eh, bukan membuka ataupun meng, menggunakan menggunakan uh, akses uh, online database secara percuma saja dan tiada bayaran dikenakan selagi anda sign in melalui uh, OPEC Pustaka Negeri Sarawak. Uh, Thank you, Madam, for uh, today. Hope to see you again in the future, maybe. Uh, sorry, Madam, uh, I can hear you. Someone done the training. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, uh, akhir kata, uh, kita akan meneruskan dengan sesi bergambar diharap semua peserta kita boleh membuka kamera ah, bergambar yang masih ya kita orang boleh make up make up pasang lipstick lah hmm tak bisa bawa kita berguru tadi kita sebelum berguru <laughs> <laughs> okay, untuk makluman uh, Jangan lupa uh, untuk uh, sign in uh, Melalui uh, OPEC Pustaka Negeri Sarawak Untuk kita orang mengakses uh, 
pustaka Malaysia uh, pun uh, online database kerana semuanya adalah percuma si kira kita orang nak mencari dari segi undang-undang ke agriculture ke aquaculture ke semuanya ada nya si terhad bukan hanya uh, barang-barang akademik saja ada dalamnya kita orang boleh akses uh, kami orang pun jurnal majalah uh, newspaper pakai kita orang baca pakai anak-anak kita orang semua ada my SPM my uh, PMR semua ada baiklah kita teruskan dengan sesi gama jangan lupa senyum okey satu, dua, tiga, senyum. Okey, so terusnya. Tunggu. Satu, dua, tiga, senyum. Okey, so terusnya. Satu, dua, tiga. Sekejap, sekejap. Juna je. Apa sih Dato' Cik buka kamera? Ah, nak repak dah kawan kami ya. Siapa sih buka kamera? <laughs> okay, ya. Yeah. One, two, three. Okay, seterusnya. One, two, three. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, ada PC office ada kamera. Okay. Okay. Baiklah, uh, thank you semua sebab uh, menyertai uh, kita pun sesi hari itu. Semoga kita ada rezeki berjumpa lagi pada masa hadapan. Dan sekali lagi, thank you Madam uh, for joining us today. See you again. Bye. Recording stopped. Thank you everyone. Thank you Madam. Thank you Madam. Bye. Bye. Tersergam indah megah Menjadi kebanggaan kita Bukti wawasan dicita Maklumat dan pengetahuan Penuh terhimpun harta ilmu untuk kita teroka. Staka negeri Sarawak, wadah ilmu untuk semua. Bersama kita manfaatkannya. Staka negeri Sarawak, berteknologi dan berusaha. Berkhidmat ikhlas untuk kita. Takkan negeri Sarawak tersergam indah megah menjadi kebanggaan kita bukti wawasan dicita maklumat dan pengetahuan penuh terhimpun harta ilmu untuk kita teroka. Negeri Sarawak Wadah ilmu untuk semua Bersama kita manfaatkannya Setaka negeri Sarawak Teknologi dan berusaha Berhikmat ikhlas untuk kita Setaka negeri Sarawak